G'day students, we are about to start on our touch lamp design and we're going to start with the uh, setting up the program for starters but then also starting or creating the first piece called the pivot. So let me show you what we've got to do to start with. First of all you'll need to log in like you are here. Then I'm going to get you to go down into this section which you can see where the mouse is rolling over on the left hand side with projects and you can see I've created a new project and called it touch lamp just to show you how to do that click on create project then click on the project name and once it's in there you need to go to settings properties and here is where you can create the the names that you need to be able to do it and please use your proper names for this one don't make up all sorts of weird stuff it, it makes it hard to try and figure out what part or what project you're making um, so just put in there you can put something about there if you like it uh, or if you like to try and tell us about it save your changes there then what you'll do is you'll go into this lamp here you'll now need to create a 3d design once it opens up into this new phase here we'll name this one straight away as well up the top here you'll see it comes up with some pretty interesting sort of names so click on that and it allows you to change it so this first thing we're going to make is called the pivot so make sure you name it again the appropriate name so that you can find it later on once we've got that we're ready to start first thing we need to do is drag across a cylinder make sure it's a positive shape and you'll see this comes up straight away notice how the sides are only set to 20 increase that up to the full amount and that'll give it a really smooth finish that won't look sort of segmented next part click on one of the bottom corners here and you'll see that the dimensions for the X and Y planes come up straight away so we're going to click on that click on the number type in 35 and do the same on the bottom one type in 35 and you'll see that that's made it out to the, the right size for the pivot next one we, do, we need to do is to change the height and the height can change to 24 and that'll give us the the outside shape now what we need to do next is put a hole in it so these two shapes over here are negative spaces they're holes so we'll grab one of these put it beside it we need to put a six mil hole down through the center of this so do the same again click one of these bottom buttons here change that to six change that one to six and last one is you need to just get this height to be 24 the same as the other one now that we've got those two shapes there just draw a box around them with your mouse then go up the top here and you'll see we've got some options here that one's to group it this one here is to align it so we're going to align for starters and you'll see all these little handles that'll come up we're going to align it into the center there for starters now notice that they're aligning sort of in the spaces where they are at the moment i find it easier if you press on this one here and you'll see this one narrows down now so now press on the center one there and you'll see the hole will come immediately to the center. These ones are grayed out because it is exactly the same height as the original piece. So once we've got it to there, click off the anywhere you like. Now group around it and press the merge button, oh, sorry, the group button to make sure that this is now one object. The way you can test whether that's been done is if you turn the the uh, pivot up on its head like this you'll be able to see all the way through it if it's not grouped you won't be able to see through there clearly so once we've got that there is one thing you need to do to finish this part of the project and that is make sure you click on the the Tinkercad logo up here in the top left corner and then you'll see that down the bottom here it is saving your work if you just close it it won't save it so let it save your work and we're ready to move on to the next part